and welcome to today's video it, this is still um, beginning ESL and today we're going to be learning about um, WH and yes no questions in the simple present form and also some vocabulary words to talk about friends and family all right so we have Sergio and Angelica so you want to match the images with the sentences so take a look at these sentences and you can pause the video and try that for a moment and then restart when you're ready to see the answers. Okay, so uh, statement number one, they live in London. That is probably the best match with picture B. They ride a bike each day to work. That would be picture C. They work at the same company, picture A, and they work at a language school, picture D. All right, now we're going to read this text about Amanda, and then you'll mark the statements here, true or false. So you can either pause the video and read on your own, or you can follow along as I read. And before we read, we have some vocabulary words, apartments in Sydney, Chinese and sports. I work in Sydney apartments. I work in Sydney, sorry. Apartments are expensive in Sydney. Apartments aren't expensive in Avoca Beach. Avoca Beach is a small town. I live in Avoca Beach, but I work in Sydney. So on Monday, I drive to Sydney. I stay with my sister for four days. I work at the office from Monday to Thursday in Sydney. I return to Avoca Beach on Thursday evening. On Friday, I work from home. On the weekend, I play sports. I also study Chinese. So true or false, apartments in Avoca Beach are very expensive. So that one would be false because she said apartments are expensive in Sydney. They aren't expensive in Avoca Beach. Amanda lives and works in Sydney. Well, that is false because she says, I live in Avoca Beach, but I work in Sydney. Amanda works from home on Friday. That is true. She says here, on Friday, I work from home. Amanda stays with her sister often. That's also true. So she stays with her sister every week for four days. And Amanda studies a foreign language. That is true because she said she studies Chinese. All right, now we're going to uh, talk about different kinds of questions. So Tim meets Amanda, and we're going to look at the kind of questions he asks. So here he says, where do you live? And her answer is, I live in Avoca Beach. For this question, he says, when do you play sports? She says, I play sports on the weekend. Do you work at home? Yes, I work at home on Fridays. And what do you study? I study Chinese. All right, <clears throat> so now we want to try and have you match the questions with the answers. So you can pause the video, take a moment to try this on your own, and then restart the video when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, letter A, where do they live? So the answer to that one would be they live in London. Do you like pasta? Yes, I love pasta. When do you eat breakfast? I usually eat breakfast at six o'clock. What do you eat for lunch? I always eat a sandwich. Do you study English? Yes, I study English every day. 
And do you speak German? No, I don't speak German. <laughs> All right, so there are two kinds of questions that we saw in that exercise. There are WH questions and yes, no questions. So WH questions, you want some sort of information as the answer. And we call them WH questions because they start with a question word like when, where, why. So what's your name? My name is Jake. Where do you work? I work in an office. What do you study? I study English. Where are they from? there from Chile. When do you eat dinner? I eat dinner at 7 p.m. So the answers are giving you the very specific types of information. Now yes or no questions, you don't really get any extra information. It's, it's only a yes or no answer. So do you like fish? Yes I do. Are you a student? Yes I am. Do you live in Paris? No, I don't. Are they Spanish? No, they aren't. Do they live in a house? Yes, they do. All right, so we're going to look at WH questions with the verb to be. So this is the sentence structure. Um, we have the WH word plus the to be verb, which is am, is, or are, and then the person. So if we want to know this information, the name James, we need to ask a what question. Okay, so we start with the WH word what, the is, and then um, the person, your name. And the answer, my name is James. <coughs> if you want um, a time, kind of question. So the information you're looking for is this weekend. You would ask a when question. When, WH word, and Ammer is, and then you is the person. At home is a prepositional phrase. It just gives you more information. Here we want to know, we want to get home as the main part of the answer. So this would be a where question where are you this weekend, but it follows the same structure. The WH word, the to be verb, and the person. So where are you this weekend? I am home this weekend. And then here we're focusing on the word Poland. So Poland is a place, so we would say where, which is the WH word, are, is the to be verb and they is the person. So we use the where word for when we want to know a place. So when the answer is going to be something like London, the train station, or here. When is for a time in the morning on Thursday at 10.30 a.m. and what is for a thing, a person, an action. So James, a dog, or swimming. <clears throat> All right, so now um, I'd like you to take a moment, pause the video, and fill in the blanks with either is or are. So you can restart the video when you're ready to check your answers. All right, welcome back. Number one should be where are you? Number two, when are they at home? What is the time? What is that? Is it a dog? Where are John and Sarah this weekend? When is he at the office? Where is she from? And where is their apartment? <clears throat> now this time you'll need to put the words in the correct order to make questions. So and remember the, the word order is the WH word plus the am, is, or are, and then the person. 
Again, you can pause the video <clears throat> and try that on your own and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. All right, so let's um, take a look at these answers. So number one, the correct order would be where <coughs> are they from? WH word, the M is or R, and then the person. Number two, where are they? Number three, oops, where is their house? Number four, when is he at school? Number five, when are you at the office? Number six, what is the time? And number seven, <clears throat> where are Tony and William tonight? <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to look at WH questions with other verbs. Um, so when the verb is not <coughs> a form of to be, not am, is, or are, then we have to add the word do or does after the WH word. So here we were focusing on getting the answer Russian. So we would ask the question, what do you study? Because Russian is a thing, it's a language. So we would ask a what's question. So I study Russian in the evening at the library. So this was the main piece of information that we were after. If we want to know when the person studies Russian at the library, we're focusing on the in the evening part of the answer, you would ask a when question. When do you study? I study in the evening at the library. And then if you want to focus on the location that the person is studying, you would use a where question. Where do you study? I study Russian in the evening at the library. We also use do for yes or no questions with other verbs. So do they like chocolate? All you're doing is adding the do to the beginning of the sentence. We don't change the order of the words. But if you're asking for an information question, then do comes after the WH word. So do they like chocolate? You want a yes or no answer. Yes, they do, or no, they don't. What do they like? You want information. They like chocolate. Um, so we add the question word and do, but otherwise we don't change the order of the words. <coughs> All right, uh, now you're going to practice, <coughs> excuse me, of writing questions. Uh, again, just follow this pattern. The WH word plus do or does plus the person plus the verb. So you can pause the video, take a few moments to write down your answers, and then uh, come back when you're ready to check. <coughs> Alright, welcome back. So number one, they tell us it's a where question. So where do you live? And then the answer, I live in Naples. Number two is a when question. When do we have a lesson? We have a lesson <clears throat> at 9 a.m. Number three is a what question. So what do we study on 
Thursday evening. We study English on Thursday evening. And number four is a when question. So when, extra letter in there, so when. Now this one, because the subject is she, we use does instead of do. So when does she start her job? She starts her job on Monday. So do and does follow the same rules as the main verb. If the subject is he, she, or it, you use the S form does. And you notice that we don't have the S form here on start because we've already used the S on does. So we don't, we don't say when does she starts, it's just when does she start. Right, uh, number five, where does he play tennis? Where does he play tennis? Again, because he is the uh, subject, we use does, and we don't put an S on the verb play because it's already here on the auxiliary verb does. All right, number six would be, what do you drink in the morning? The answer, I drink coffee in the morning. Number seven, when do you eat breakfast? So I eat breakfast on at 7 a.m. And number eight, when do you study Spanish? I study Spanish on Monday and Tuesday. All right, now you're going to practice some of these WH questions. And so the words in bold are what you're focusing on. That's what the answer that you want. That'll help you determine which WH word that you need. Um, and again, just remember the structure. WH word plus do or does plus person plus verb. So go ahead and pause the video, write down your answers, and then restart when you're ready to continue. All right, so number one, they have a lesson at 11 a.m. So 11 a.m. Is, is a time. So this would be a when question. So when do they have a lesson? Okay, number two, I study German on the weekend. So the focus here is on German. German is a thing, it's a language. So you would say, what do you study on the weekend? And then the answer would be, I study German. Number three, on Sunday afternoon. Well, that's a time. So that is another when question. So when do you study English? The answer, we study English on Sunday afternoon. Number four, I live in Warsaw. Warsaw is a place. So this would be a where question. Where do you live? And number five, <clears throat> I drink tea in the morning. So we're focusing on getting the answer tea. Tea is the thing. So what do you drink 
in the morning. All right, continuing on with number six. So at nine o'clock, that's a time, so you would ask when do they eat dinner? Number seven, at the park, the park is a place, so we would ask where do you play football? And number eight, Hockey, we're looking for the answer hockey. So hockey is a what, it's a thing. So um, what do they play at the park? And finally, number nine, on Saturday morning is a time. So this is a when question. So when does she start her English course? All right, now we're going to listen to Jonah. So listen and see if you can understand what he is talking about. On weekdays, I wake up at 7 a.m. I take a shower and get ready for work. I don't eat breakfast because I am not hungry in the morning. On my way to work, I stop at the cafe to get a cup of coffee. I arrive at work at 8 a.m. I eat lunch at noon and I work until 5 p.m. After work, I like to do something outside. I like to run, ride my bicycle, or go swimming. I am inside all day at work, so I don't like to stay inside when work is finished. All right, so hopefully you understood that Jonah was talking about his morning routine, what, what he does on a daily basis to get ready and get to work. All right, so now we're going to listen to that again, and you're going to tell me in what order does he mention these things. On weekdays, I wake up at 7 a.m. I take a shower and get ready for work. I don't eat breakfast because I am not hungry in the morning. On my way to work, I stop at the cafe to get a cup of coffee. I arrive at work at 8 a.m. I eat lunch at noon and I work until 5 p.m. After work, I like to do something outside. I like to run, ride my bicycle, or go swimming. I am inside all day at work, so I don't like to stay inside when work is finished. Okay, I'll play it once more, and this time I will mark the answers. You were just listening for the order in which he mentions these things. Uh, what he mentioned first, second, third, and fourth, fourth and fifth. On weekdays, I wake up at 7 a.m. I take a shower and get ready for work. I don't eat breakfast because I am not hungry in the morning. On my way to work, I stop at the cafe to get a cup of coffee. I arrive at work at 8 a.m. I eat lunch at noon and I work until 5 p.m. After work, I like to do something outside. I like to run, ride my bicycle, or go swimming. I am inside all day at work, so I don't like to stay inside when work is finished. All right. So now uh, we're, I'll, we'll read this again, and this time you can follow along as he, as he reads. 
On weekdays, I wake up at 7 a.m. I take a shower and get ready for work. I don't eat breakfast because I am not hungry in the morning. On my way to work, I stop at the cafe to get a cup of coffee. I arrive at work at 8 a.m. I eat lunch at noon and I work until 5 p.m. After work, I like to do something outside. I like to run, ride my bicycle, or go swimming. I am inside all day at work, so I don't like to stay inside when work is finished. All right, and so now um, I want you to practice answering some of these questions, W8 questions. So when do you wake up? Well, for me, I usually wake up about at about 7.30. I wake up at 7.30 a.m. And then you can make your own sentence about when you wake up. And what do you do? Um, I wash my face. I brush my teeth and comb my hair. I get dressed, uh, I eat breakfast, and I go to my office and begin working around 9 a.m. So just write an answer to that question about what you do in the morning. All right, now we're going to listen to Chandler and Leonard and then answer these questions. Where are you from? I am from New York. Where do you live now? I live in California. What is your job? I am a software engineer. What do you like to do for fun? I like to go hiking. Where do you go hiking? There are many places to go hiking near my house. I really like to go to Yosemite National Park. Why? It is beautiful there, and there is so much to see. All right, I'll play it once more, and this time we will um, write down oops, Chandler's, or Leonard's answers. Sorry, Chandler is asking the questions. Where are you from? I am from New York. So letter A, where are you from? He says, I am from New York. Where do you live now? I live in California. So I live in California. What is your job? I am a software engineer. So what is your job? He said, I am a software engineer. What do you like to do for fun? I like to go hiking. Where do you go hiking? So, what do you like to do for fun? He says, I like to go hiking. And where do you go hiking? There are many places to go hiking near my house. I really like to go to Yosemite National Park. Why? It is beautiful there, and there is so much to see. So he said there were lots of places he goes, but his favorite place is Yosemite National Park. All 
right, so this time we're going to practice the conversation. So I'm going to play it once more and try to listen to the tone of their voices and try to match that if you can. Um, and then we'll practice reading each of the parts. We'll each take turns with each of the parts. So let's just listen first. Where are you from? I am from New York. Where do you live now? I live in California. What is your job? I am a software engineer. What do you like to do for fun? I like to go hiking. Where do you go hiking? There are many places to go hiking near my house. I really like to go to Yosemite National Park. Why? It is beautiful there, and there is so much to see. All right, so this time I will read Chandler's part and you'll respond with Leonard's part and then we will switch. Where are you from? Where do you live now? What is your job? What do you like to do for fun? Where do you go hiking? <clears throat> Why? All right, now we'll switch parts and you can start reading Chandler and I'll respond with Leonard. So go ahead and start whenever you're ready. I am from New York. I live in California. I'm a software engineer. I like to go hiking. There are many places to go hiking near my house. I really like to go to Yosemite National Park. It's beautiful there and there is so much to see. All right, so <clears throat> these are just some WH questions that you can practice the next time that you meet someone new. Uh, who is an English feature, speaker. Um, you can talk about where do you live now? Where are you from? Where are your parents from? Where is your apartment? Uh, what do you study? Where do you live? When do you study? And when do you wake up? So just asking the person some questions about their self, for themselves can um, be good practice for you to practice those conversation skills. That's um, the end of today's video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment if you have suggestions for other videos that you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.